Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will write our first Flutter application from the scratch and we will also understand the proper way of organizing the code in Flutter application. So without wasting time, let's get started. First of all, let me create a new Flutter project inside the folder called My Apps. For this, I need to open a command prompt here. And inside the command prompt, I am writing Flutter create and I will name the application as let's say the hello underscore app. Hit the enter button and it will create application for you. Now if you want to launch VS code along with this specific project, first of all, let's jump inside a folder. So we need to write cd then hello underscore app. Then after entering at this specific path, we have to write code space then the dot and hit the enter button. You can see VS code has launched properly along with the application called hello underscore app. On the right hand side that you see is my real device which we will use to run the application in this video. Along with every flat application, we get a folder called lib inside which we have the file called main.dart. This main.dart is very important file in flutter project because when your flutter application is executed, dart will look for this specific file having the name called main.dart. So make sure that you should not rename this file. By default, we get some code written inside this main.dart which is famously known as the counter application. So as we are going to start everything from the scratch, let me delete all the code from this main file. The first statement that we must write inside the main.dart is actually the import statement. So we have to write import. In single quotes, we have to write the package, then the flutter slash the material dot dart file. Import statement allows us to import specific library in our dart file so that the contents of this library such as the classes and functions can be used inside our dart file. Material.dart is one of the basic and essential library that provides flutter widget implementing the material design. After importing this file, we have to write a function called void main. This main function is actually the entry point for your program execution. Inside this main function, we have to call a special function which is known as the run app. Run app is a predefined method in Flutter which is available in the library called binding.dart. This method inflates the widget and attaches it to the screen. So whatever widget that we pass as a parameter inside this method, that specific widget will act as the root of widget tree. Now let me tell you the widget in brief. Widget is the UI component that you see on the screen. All widgets are the descendant of widget class. In fact, widgets are the building blocks of Flutter application. Each and every Flutter application is built using the various widgets. Now let's understand what is the widget tree. As we have learned, the Flutter application is built using various widgets. The widget that we pass inside the run app will act as the root of widget tree and all the remaining widgets will act as either direct or indirect child of this specific root. The structure of this widget tree ultimately depends upon the UI that you want to design for your application. If you are absolute beginner in a flutter, it's quite hard to understand at first time what this specific widget tree is about and how it is being constructed. But don't worry. As you go on practicing with the Flutter, as you go on using various kinds of widgets in your UI, definitely you will understand what this tree is about and how to construct the tree and what is the specific way in which this tree or all the child has to be arranged. Inside this run app, I'm passing the widget called text with the message say hello so that I want the message hello to be shown on the screen. Text is the predefined widget in the Flutter which is used to display the text that is a string kind of message on the screen. This widget takes a first parameter in the form of string which is actually a positional parameter and all the remaining parameters are optional named parameters. So out of this I need one parameter which is obviously a text direction and in this case I am passing the text direction as the left to right. Believe me guys, I am using this text direction because I am passing this text as the root of widget tree in this run app. If you are not using this text as the root of your widget tree, definitely this text direction is an optional for you. So let me add the extra comma and I am going to format my code by using the alter shift and f button. 
So let's save this one and let me run this code in my device. You can see our application has launched successfully and it is showing the message hello at the top left of the screen. But this kind of output or this kind of design looks so ugly because I have directly passed the text message or the text widget inside this run app. In this program, I have passed a text widget as the root of the widget tree, but it is not actually preferred to write in any application. So what is preferred? Actually, we have to wrap this text widget inside the material app widget. So for this, let me delete this entire code. So let me write here material app. Inside this material app, we have a property called home. And for this specific home, I'm passing a text widget and inside this text, I'm passing a message called hello. Now in this case, I don't need to pass the property called text direction. And if I save it, nothing will change on my screen because I'm doing a change inside the main. So in order to reflect that one, I need to press this button called as the hot restart. Now you can see the hello message is looking quite better than the old one. Let me talk in brief about this material app. Material app is a predefined widget from the library called app.dart. Material app wraps the number of widgets that are commonly required for material design application. This widget is specially designed to act as the root of your entire widget tree in your application. I will talk in detail about this specific widget in my upcoming videos. Now, if you feel that this specific text has to be present inside the center of screen, so for this, we have to wrap this text widget inside the widget called center. For this, let me cut this from here. And here I'm passing the special widget called center. Inside the center widget, we have a property called the child. For this child, I'm passing the text widget that I have copied. Let me add the additional comma and I'm again formatting the code using the buttons called alter, shift, and arrow. Now again, if I save the button, nothing will change on UI. For this, again, I have to press this button, which is called the hot restart. Now the way in which we have written a code is not at all the proper way. Then what is the proper way? The proper way is by creating another class inside which we have to specify the material widget and object of this specific class has to be passed as a parameter inside this run app. For this, let me delete entire code from this one and let me format this one again. Let me write a class and I will name this class as my app and that has to extend the stateless widget in this case. So uh, we'll talk about what is stateless widget and stateful widget in our upcoming sessions. So inside this class, I need to override the build method and build method must accept the parameter in the form of build context. So let me erase this code that we don't need actually. And inside this method, I'm returning the material widget. So I can write here return the material widget return the material app then let me write the home property home property actually requires the home page that is a default page of your application which will be launched automatically every time when you start the application now for this home property in this case i'm passing a center widget this center widget should have a property called child and as a child of this one i'm passing a text here so this text has to be hello in this case. Let me format the code and you can see the screen of my device has stopped and I need to start the screen. Now one more important thing is I need to pass object of this specific my app inside the method called run app. So again if I save here nothing will happen. I need to restart this again. So let's restart and obviously you will find the same output. You can see this myapp class and this material app is having some kind of warning. This myapp class has a warning because I need to add a constructor inside this class that accepts the parameter of type key. So for this, let's click on this quick fix and write the constructor with key. Or you can write this manually if you want. Let me type it here. So I need to write const. The name of constructor would be myapp here. And inside this, we have to pass a parameter in the form of name parameter. So it is of type key so let's make it a key and we have to call the super class constructor here and just pass the value of key as specifically the key and make sure that this key must be in the form of a nullable variable for this material lab it is expecting to add the const modifier 
same thing we need to do in line number four for this object we need to add again the const modifier because the constructor of this my app is a constant so it's important to add a const modifier here again one observable thing is this main function has a single line of code now whenever a function has a single line of code such a function can be changed to the fire arrow function so for this let me remove this opening curly bracket remove the closing curly bracket and add the fire arrow, symb fire arrow symbol here let me format the code and i'm good to go this specific code is looking quite better than the old one but again i'm saying it is not actually the proper way the code has to be arranged in the application you can see inside this material lab we have passed the center widget and inside the center widget i'm passing the text widget ideally we should create the individual screen by using the widget called scaffold and inside the scaffold we have to pass the center widget so for this we need to wrap the center widget inside the scaffold so let me erase the code from here and i need to write a scaffold here okay let me talk about scaffold in the brief scaffold implements the basic material design visual layout structure it is mostly used to create the top level container because it provides all the basic functionalities that the top level widget or the top level screen or you can say the top level page should have such as the app bar bottom navigation drawers snack bar bottom sheet and etc i will talk in detail about this scaffold in our upcoming sessions now the scaffold has a property called body where you have to specify the main widget of the scaffold so in this case i am passing sender widget inside the sender widget there is a child that specifies the child that you want to align in center in this case i am passing a text and for this text i am passing the message called hello and now let me save the code and instantly you can see the nice changes on my screen you might be wondering when i save the changes in my code all the changes will automatically reflected on my screen but in earlier code it was not the case this is because we had the code inside this main method so make sure that whatever code that we have inside the method if you update the code inside this method whenever you save your changes or you you go with the concept called this hot reload your changes won't be reflected on the ui side on other hand whatever changes that we have inside this build method these changes will be reflected instantly when you save your code now you can see there is a red strip at the top right corner of my screen so in order to remove that one let's jump inside this material lab and there is a property called debug show check mode banner use the value false in order to ignore that one okay save the changes and you can see this tree has disappeared now we feel that we have written the code in a proper way yes we have written the code in proper way no doubt in that but whenever we have a scaffold widget it is recommended that we should create a separate file and inside that specific file we have to put entire code of your scaffold for this let me create a new file and i will name this file as a home page so i can write here home underscore page dot dot now inside this file again we need to import the specific library called material dot dot so i can write here import the material then we must create a class so i need to create a class let's say the home page in this case and here i am extending this stateless widget inside this class again we need to specify the build method inside this build method we have to return the widget that we will be using to construct design so here i am writing return this scaffold widget here and inside this scaffold as a body of this scaffold i am passing the center widget and for the center widget as a child i am specifying the text as the hello save this code and format it properly again inside this home page class i need to specify a constant constructor that accepts the value of type key so i should write the const then i should write the const then the home page then it has to be a parameter of type key and the variable name is key make sure that it has to be a nullable kind of variable and don't forget to call the super class constructor by passing by specifying the value of key as a key here now this scaffold must be again in the form of constant save the code and format it again 
Now this specific home page that we have created is much better and it's of course the professional way of writing the code. Now get back to the main. Inside this main, first of all, let me import this file that we have created, which is actually the home page dot dot. And I can completely remove this scaffold here. And as a home page, I need to specify the home page that we have created. So let's save the code and check out the changes. If you have some experience in Flutter application development, you might have seen we always nested the widgets. That is, you can observe here this text widget is actually placed, that is, it is nested inside the center widget. The center widget is actually nested inside the scaffold widget. So, this kind of nesting of widget is actually known as the declarative UI design, which is specifically used by the Flutter. So, in my upcoming videos, I will talk what is this declarative design and what is actually the imperatively design. The last thing that I must discuss here is it is recommended to place as less code as possible inside this main dot dot. So, if code of your my app, that is the code inside your material lab, is getting bigger and bigger, it is recommended to create this separate file and place this code inside this file, import that file, and pass object of this specific my app inside the run app. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.